So once you learn how to program a single command block, you can actually connect them together uh, to make multiple things happen all at once. Um, so in this game, for example, um, I want all my players to spawn over in this arena uh, for a battle game. So to do that, I place an initial command block and I programmed it to slash TP, just teleport, at A, which is all the players, um, to these coordinates, which is the center of my arena. Uh, but then I added more command blocks. I wanted more things to happen. Um, I wanted to make sure uh, player versus player damage was set to true. Um, that's a game rule. I had previously turned it to false so that they couldn't attack each other while they were getting started. Um, but then once they enter the arena, once they teleport there, I want that to be true. Um, I made it game mode adventure uh, for all players so they can't do any damage to the arena. Uh, they won't be able to place blocks or destroy blocks. Um, I turned off the world builder ability so they can't cross over my border blocks. And I reset the world spawn so that if anyone else comes into the game after the battle starts, um, they will actually respawn in the stands, so not in the arena, but nearby so they can watch the battle. And then finally, I reset the spawn point of all the players also to the stands, um, so that once they die, um, they are removed from the arena, but they can watch the rest of the battle. First of all, to grab a command block, um, you have to go to slash give, um, select yourself at S, and command underscore block and that would be just a basic command block um, remember when you place it it's going to be pointing towards you so I'll place it right here and then you can right click on it and enter your command now we'll get into some of this stuff on the side um, impulse is a default command block that means it will happen when it's clicked on or when it has a trigger something like a pressure plate or a lever um, but if you want it to happen just connected, like what I did, so after this happens, then this, then this, then this, um, you would change it to a chain. Uh, so let's just go ahead and place another one down here. Um, if I place it on the command block, it's going to just bring me into the, the menu for that block. Remember, you can hold down Shift and then place it, or sometimes I actually just click on the ground to place it. Now, uh, these will not actually all function together. Um, to make them all go at the same time, you need to right click on it and change it to chain. Uh, then chain will happen one after another. <clears throat> the rest of these settings I normally leave, leave alone, and then they'll all happen like they're linked together. Uh, so change that one to chain. Nice little trick is once you have one item in your world, um, you can just click on it with the wheel. So if I click on that one with the wheel, now in my inventory I've got a command block and a chain command block. And I could just place them, and I could right click on them and change the different commands, um, and then all those commands would happen basically at the same time. Technically it's one after another, uh, but there's very little delay in between. Um, if you wanted to bend the chain, um, you could take a command block and place it sideways. Oops. Um, and so now my chain would be coming down this direction, then it would turn, and then I could actually have it come back this way, and all of these blocks would then be activated. So it would do this one first, then it would come down here, turn, hit this one, and then this one would activate these two. Um, so that's how you can kind of really combine command blocks together to do a bunch of commands all at once.